What's going on guys? In this video, I thought I'd kind of talk about how I've been able to consistently train five days a week as I am prepping for nationals, kind of go over a few tips and tricks that I kind of do to keep on top of my diet, how I'm able to recover my body, all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and get into the video. First, let's talk about probably the hardest thing to do, which is eating a healthy diet. So tip number one with this one, just make sure that you're staying hydrated, drink plenty of water. I'm drinking water throughout the day, whether I am teaching classes, I'll always jump in, sip on some water, or whether I'm training, make sure I drink plenty of water. Just make sure you are staying hydrated. You have to make sure you stay hydrated. If you get dehydrated, you're gonna start losing your energy and it's just not gonna be good for your body. So make sure you're drinking plenty of water throughout the day and especially during your training sessions. Second, make sure that you're eating a good carb source, especially before you train. Usually before I train, the only thing I eat is just a granola bar. It gives me plenty of good carbs to get a good training session in. So make sure that you are giving your body a good little carb source, especially if you're about to go train. Also have a little, a small little good carb source after training as well to kind of just kind of refuel your body. So make sure that you're eating good carbs, clean carbs like granola bar, something like that, nothing like bad like fried or anything like that, no fried foods or anything like that. So make sure you're eating good clean carb source. And then the last thing, just overall eat good clean meals. If you eat something bad, then your body's not gonna take very well and it's probably going to affect your training. It's gonna make you feel bloated, you're gonna feel sluggish during training. Make sure that you're eating clean. If you eat clean, you give your body good foods then you're gonna feel pretty good during training and it's gonna help you perform a lot better. So one, make sure that you're staying hydrated. Make sure two, you're make, good, making sure you're getting a good carb source to give you energy for training. And then three, overall, just make good choices, eat something clean, that way your body feels good. Next, let's talk about rest and recovery. This is something that I've probably made more of a priority in the last six months, really just starting to listen more to my body, making sure I'm getting the proper rest, that way I'm also recovering and ready to go the next day for my next training session. So basically, once I get home from training, usually I'm doing one of three things. I'm either icing my legs, using a heating pad on my legs, or I'm taking an Epsom salt bath, or sometimes two of those three things. So sometimes I'll come home, if it's after sparring, sometimes I'll kind of ice my legs if I got a little banged up, and then I'll go take an Epsom salt bath, just kind of relax my muscles, relax my body as well. So definitely making sure that I'm paying attention to those small little aches and pains, those bumps and bruises, trying to treat those. Just make sure that I'm relieving a little bit of those pains, trying to just basically just heal them, making sure that I'm staying comfortable, getting my body ready for the next session the next day. So just making sure that you're paying attention to your body and just kind of making sure that you're not training on any hurt injuries as well. So if you have like an injury, definitely make sure that you are treating it. Don't train on it if it is super painful or anything like that, which leads me into the next thing. I used to have really bad joint pain, I would say probably a couple months ago when I started intensifying, adding more training days. When I started upping my training, I noticed that my knees and my hips were starting to get super achy. So the one supplement I do take is glucosamine, which I've got this joint support right here. Um, that's the only thing that I've been taking and it has been helping a lot. It's relieved pretty much all of my joint pain. My knees and my hips don't ache pretty much really at all anymore and I'm actually training more than when I was when I first started training. Um, but a couple months ago I was having a lot of knee pain and hip pain um, just when I started training a lot. So I started taking that and it's definitely helped a lot. So that's the only supplement I take. Um, that's really it. That's the only thing I take. I don't take pre-workout. I don't take uh, protein powder or anything like that. Um, just making sure that eat a good diet, drink plenty of water, um, and then taking glucosamine. That's the only thing I really do as far as supplements and all that stuff goes. But definitely make sure that you are resting properly, getting a good night's sleep. That way your body can recover. Good to go for the next day. If you have any aches and pains, try to treat those. Try to relieve a little bit of that pain using some ice or Epsom salt baths or a heating pad. Just make sure you're paying attention to your body, giving it the rest that it needs. All right, now let's talk about how am I able to train five days a week consistently? And honestly, it just falls back on being disciplined. Okay, you guys have to be super disciplined with your training if you want to accomplish training consistently a certain amount of days. You can't be lazy at all, you can't make excuses. Even some days I wake up, I'm super tired, I really don't wanna go do my morning session sometimes, but 
I just have to fall back on that discipline, just make myself go. Once I get there and start training, I always feel fine, but there's always those times where I just don't want to get out of bed. I'm sure most of you have had those days, but those are those days where you have to be mentally tough and just make yourself go do it. You can't be mentally weak at all, or you're going to start kind of making excuses and they're going to start building up, building up, and then you're never going to accomplish anything. So definitely make sure that you are super disciplined. It's super hard, but <laughs> once you stay disciplined and you're consistent, it does get a little bit easier. You'll start seeing results. I've gotten probably, probably in the best shape that I am I've ever been in right now. So that's definitely motivation for me to actually keep training as well. So definitely make sure you're disciplined. Make sure that you have, maybe you have a goal. For me, it's obviously it's national. So that keeps me driven, keeps me motivated to keep on training hard as well. So just try to stay motivated, stay driven, but all else fails, you've got to fall back on your discipline. All right, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Got few more hard sessions coming up this week and then we're going to start tapering off as we get closer to nationals super excited it's coming up very soon these last couple months definitely haven't been easy with all the training i've been doing but if it was easy everyone would be doing this so that definitely keeps me motivated thank you so much for all the support you guys are awesome also, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. I do try to post at least once a day on there, whether it's an actual post or if it's on my stories. I'm probably the most active on there. So definitely make sure you guys are following me on Instagram at AlexWongTKD. Thank you so much for watching the video. You guys are awesome. I'll see you guys later.